still. Uh, how many people can actually get a set on JJ? Yeah, I mean, with Bayonetta. I don't, I've never gotten Bushi. Uh, uh, I never gotten JJ before, so you know, yeah, the fact like, you have one is the, better than in me. The, in this like really hard matchup to do. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of patience to be able to play this matchup. I mean, Bushi has been working a lot on his patience. JJ watching that shield. JJ showing that he's very profound in this matchup, taking out Saj at UGC, who's a, a PGR player. So, yeah, Warren's uh, losing his finals. So let's see if uh, Bushi can make this 43 and two. He got to do. He got to take three games off of JJ though, so that's not an easy feat. Yeah, and right now Bushi he did have a lead, but now it's gone. And both of these players want to run back on Dan. He's sitting in the grand finals right now. Oh yeah. Dan just kind of sitting comfortably. And Dan sitting on that three peat potentially. Oh yeah. Someone. One of these guys wants to give him another run for his Bushi money. might take it right there. Yes, taking that first blood. Very important, especially with only 54%. This is huge. He's got all the time now to rack up extra credit. So let's see what kind of damage he can do on this second stock. Bushi getting... Okay, does not get too big of a combo. Yeah, but he hasn't been touched yet. Like I said, Bushi's been working very hard on, on keeping his patience. Not doing those random slides that he used to always do. Which, it, if that was old Bushi, he would have done it right there. And Bushi definitely wanted to, uh, especially recently now that he's almost taken a set on an ally, he's been wanting to take it and make a name for himself, and he gets the auto link hitbox. He gets the auto link hitbox, and JJ's not, not going to be happy about that. Yeah, man. He took 58% on the first stock, 30% on the second one. That's a clean two stock coming out from Bushi in this loser's final set. But like we said, he's got to take not two games in this set, but three. Three, yes. Yeah, so not, he's not halfway there, man. He's, he's, got, he's still got a long way to go. And we, and we are still in the classic, the new rules. But it's not really going to matter because it's JJ and he's going to go back to Smash that, Yeah, the new rule set definitely hinders Bayonetta from two of her best stages. But again, Bayonetta is such a you know top-tier character that she works on every stage really well. And and technically, uh, like according to Dyer, um, this stage, new stage list that benefits Diddy a lot. Because now he doesn't have Lilat to mess up his uh, trajectories for his banana. And he doesn't really have uh, the duck hunt circle camping that can happen that messes him up. Um, ooh, okay. <laughs> it's a good uh, witch time attempt from Bushi, but did not plan out. Uh, JJ's got to watch out for these combos this game around, man. He's uh, done it 43 times, so let's see, let's see if he can pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> and Bushi doing these nice little chains, but JJ's been getting out of the, 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 the guts of it. Yeah, that's what's interesting about witch time. Like, if you uh, command grab it, you just go through it. And yeah. You can't grab which time you can't command grab it. So it's it's basically the mo it's pretty much a very safe option to monkey flip, which that's that's Bayo's saving grace that she actually at least does have an answer to what to monkey flip, but most characters do not. Yeah, she'll witch time it, and if you monkey flips, you won't get the grab. If you monkey flip kicks, you get the witch time. Yeah, which is better. So it makes it very scary for Diddy's. And JD, I think afraid to go out, to go to her village at that point because. He could have gotten uh, Witch Time if, he, if Bushi was really quick. And got the chains. That's going to take it. Oh, no. no, good DI from JJ. That's going to take it. So we got from one ticket to another ticket. Yeah. Now Bushi. Still 106. That's not bad for, for Bayo. That might take it. Yep. Yeah, even there it up go. right there. We got a one stock game. Two minutes off the clock. Oh, I think you want you, one of the bananas still be there. Ooh, there's a lot of safe pressure. Yeah, if you want to contend against Bayonetta, man, you got to have a good grab game. Uh oh, that was really close to the. Okay. So yeah, I said that was that was on the platform. That can be very scary. Yeah, he still had a few specials and aerials left in him. Yeah. Lucky for JJ falling out of that. And if he had more rage, he could have got. Like, bushi has been camping ledge yeah. quite a bit this game, or this uh, the set. I mean, it's been working. He's it's 
I think it's kind of one of those things where she probably lands so close to the ledge that it's kind of hard for him to down smash her. What's Jada gonna do? He does have a very strong lead. Yeah, but he did lose his stock at like 50% last game. He was taken off by a combo with the wrong SDI. Yeah, but uh, he's playing a little bit safer this time. Fourth row might? Not quite. Okay. JJ with the pressure, with the peanut gun and the banana in hand. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's such a good ranged option. It's a lot of footsies. And Bushi still living. Monkey flip kick, uh, monkey flip, like, punch. Isn't really, like, the best kill move. Mm -hmm. Falls out of that. Bushi wisely not going for follow-up. Uh-oh, this is okay. Oh, that's okay. gonna take it. Punishes those aerials. Put specials in the sky. Now, JJ has a lot of practice with SDIing out of those. He's probably one of the biggest grinders, probably the biggest grinder in Chicago. It's either him or Ned who just grinds on for glory and beats Ned. Or who beats uh, Zero <laughs> on for glory. Yeah, the one stock challenge. The one stock challenge. What a classic. Zero's YouTube. But uh, yeah, JJ, he is a lab fiend for sure, uh, to an extent. Like, he doesn't live on Fort Glory, so to speak. At least I don't think he does. He, no, he, he he does it exclusively on either, in like, by himself, like, with mo mo uh, mobility, or he plays on the Y fiends uh, and grinders uh, chat. He used to use it a lot more. I don't know if he uses it that much anymore. And when playing, like, Diddy Kong for, like, the entirety of this game. And, and Brawl. And Brawl. Yeah, he, well, like especially specifically in this game, he's like labs his down tilt confirms. Like at this percent, I should down tilt this, down tilt grab, down tilt forward air. He and then so. he labs out every single throw follow. That's why you, you will rarely see JJ fall, miss a throw combo because he just knows exactly when to do them. Right now, Bushi with a 48% unanswered. But JJ does not want to start panicking. He knows he. he, he he needs to play this matchup nice and slow. Make make Bushi make mistakes. And right there, he was exp he knew Bushi was gonna expect him to grab that banana. So instead, he said, "Nah, I'm just gonna hit you again." Ooh, doesn't get a tech, so he gets a down tilt, down tilt grab, and a back air out of that. That's yeah, a lot and, of time. and he wants to save that up air because I think it's almost in kill range for uh, the hoo ha. Because Ron Town City, that stage can kill really well. Yeah, there's a hoo-ha percent a town of city and like like characters in general, and then like even when they get out of that percent, you can like bait the air dodge and still get the up air. Yeah, which which you see zero do a lot. Mm -hmm. Down throw. Forward air. What is Bushi gonna go for? Air. Oh no, forward. Okay, JJ dying out of that last hit. Yeah. Uh, they did a spare oh, one, man. All right. They did a spare one, so potent against characters like Fox or like just heavies. Oh, yeah, Fox wouldn't even get out, gotten out of that. Nope. Or JJ looking to find his way back on stage. And so now JJ still living. Get a free punish. So that's why that's why Bushi has been telling himself he doesn't want to do these uh, these slides because they're very punishable by certain characters. Especially if you become predictable about it. Ooh, Ooh. Good back though, makes up the DI. Yeah, that's what Anti said on Twitter. Is like, if you gotta grab, it, sometimes you just immediately want to throw to mix up the DI. Yeah. yeah. You don't pummel because if you pummel, it gives them a chance to see your throw animation and be ready for it. Yeah, especially DI. Diddy. Diddy has very good uh, mix-ups because uh, both of his kill throws are very quick. Yeah, and they're both very directional influence, like forward and back. You just see JJ like walk all the way to the left slowly, and then just like monkey flip. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't try to do the melee reference. I just, I just want to point out. Oh, forward air, getting that. Uh, it looked like that was an untackable. Cause JJ was on over 100. It's not too often you don't see those sna uh, smash attacks without a witch time before it. So Abushi getting that first stock, but he's got a mountain to climb right now. A really big mountain. JJ, one of those players that if he has that big fat lead. You kind of have to have tank to, to catch up. Yeah, and then uh, you, I don't think like Bushi's gonna want the auto the hitbox, but I don't think JJ's gonna let the same stock happen. I'll throw up here. Same set. Almost. Ooh, good pressure. Now I don't think up throw up here will kill. Down tilt though, he's looking for it. He knows the percent. The air dodge. I'm wrong. Does, doesn't even need yeah. it. Yeah. I, I was saying, I was thinking like, wait, maybe it will, and it definitely does. JJ taking that. 
No, JD up 2-1 over Bushi. E2C's Bushi. Looking to take his 44 set. <laughs> and that's, that's just goes to show, man. Like, this is the kind of like set history you'd find between like JJ and Ned, you know? Yeah. It's like, JJ, well, like, not that, not that imbalanced. That's for sure, but. No, like, JJ is very, you know, he, he, a lot of his sets, also, I always tend to joke that the, the JJ special is going, uh, 15 games. Because he, yeah. he, there's, it's very often that JJ just tends to uh, keep keep things as close as possible, basically. And there's a time we'd, where we'd see him in that at three weekies a week, winners finals, grand finals, maybe grand finals set two. So and that was like three, multiple times a week. They could play up to nine times a week even. Yeah, and it is uh, it is two one JJ, and uh, yeah, JJ one game oh, away gosh. from finding his way in the grand finals against uh, get his rematch with Dan. Hoping to stop Dan. Last last week uh, we saw JJ actually reset the bracket, but not close out the tournament. So let's see if he can still manage to take sets off of Dan uh, going into this week. And he has a big fat lead right now. So before he's got to get to Dan, he's got to get through Bushi one more game. Yeah, just one more game, and then JJ will be going on to grand finals. But Bushi obviously not wanting to make that happen. But it's gonna, it's, this is one heck of a mountain. Yeah. Could, oh, nope, never mind. Yeah, it's got to be down to the smash percent right there, man. Oh, especially with with Bayo. I'm not sure how successful. Ooh, oh, that's this, percent. This is what Bushi needs. Oh, it gets out. Mm. I would like to see him mix it up. I've seen other bayonetas even opt to do. I think it was like up tilt to down air spike to go for an up smash. Afterwards. Oh yeah. Captain and like Captain Zach has like the most like ridiculous combos from uh, getting which time. Yeah, he'll go from like forward start with his forward smash and then go from like special combos after that. But Bushi answering back saying he's still got some life in him, looking a lot like last game where he made it. Uh, I think it was actually game the first two. Game. It was game two where he was zero zero. Yeah, it was, no, it was it was the very first game where which Bushi won because uh, he no he two stocked him with seventy eight percent. Game two. It was oh yeah, zero, you're right. Zero. You're right. It's just like a Smashville, Smashville, Tennis City, Smashville set. So, a lot of familiar sights. And, uh, yeah, I mean, both of these characters, both of these players are comfortable on these Good stages. Good air dodge read. Right Bushi now, now, man. Bushi is... From losing the first stock to taking fire. the stock and it taking 55%. And now he's taking no damage so far. I say that as he takes damage. Yeah. In this fighting game, it's a pretty fast pace. JJ knows he's got to fight back to get uh, in this set right now. JJ yeah. taking 82% right now. How is he going like, to take this game and take the set? I mean, again, he just needs to oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Oh, Bushi takes it. All right. All right we're seeing a game five situation What now. a comeback from Bushi. So now we are definitely in a game five situation, exactly what I was not hoping for. DJ got to work to get <laughs> to, to grand finals, man. Oh, yeah, and I I don't know who, like, I, I, I personally just said, as for stream purposes, I, I always want to have that that uh, upset happen. Uh, you know, I, I like root for JJ is like one of my favorite players, so I, I'm definitely gonna root for him a lot. So we are now on game five. Whoever wins this game is gonna go on to game grand finals against Dan. Pushy granting the uh, gentleman back to the town of City, considering JJ won out here. I don't think he cares, considering that they have well, national for three of the five games. There's no DSR. There is no DSR. There's no DSR. Ah. For, for best of, no, in general, there's no DS, DSR. Ah. That's one of the caveats of having only four stages, is that you really can't have DSR uh, and a ban. So they just got decided to get rid of, whoa. Uh -huh. That was some cool moves that Bushi did that on purpose. Bouncing off that banana and <laughs> reversing himself. They're taking an early lead in this game, but Bushi is showing that he's able to <sighs> run it back from deficits. Yeah, as Bushi, we saw in two of the games. Bushi sadly, uh, sadly for Bushi, uh, countered or which time the attack of Diddy and then tripped on the banana, which caused which time to end. All right, so now JJ again with a very commanding stage control, but Bushi has already shown multiple times he can just bring it back. He does not mind having to come back from these kind of odds. Throw. Okay, not not quite in hoo-ha percent then. JJ playing extra safe, knowing his tournament oh. life is on the line. So he's taking this early stock right yeah, here. He does, he does not take any risks, which is very smart. You do not at this at this point losing this game means you're losing out on some decent money. Yeah, the payout percentage difference. JJ is definitely feeling that, man. And then. 
getting the full lap right now. JJ can definitely play around right now, but he won't. He will play safe still. No, he he's 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 oh he'll play safe still. But not anymore. Yeah, that that was there's was really nothing to do at that point. Yep. Bushi with the good edge guard, man. And all that that big lead that JJ had just kind of slipping out of his hands, but that's what happens when you when you get stuck off stage against uh, Bayo as Diddy. I feel so bad. I was praising him so much, and then. <laughs> I mean, it happens, and that's one of those situations where, as a good player, you kind of learn to get used to adapting to, like, oh, well, I, you know, I had that big lead, but now I don't, so I have to just deal with it. Yeah, Diddy Kong's recovery, very challengeable offstage. Very challengeable. Bay Bayonetta with the best recovery in the game has all the room in the world to challenge that offstage. Yeah, I still remember people were saying that Zirisu had the best. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. That down air, incredible knockback. That would have sent JJ in a recovery position. And now Bushi, I believe, might be in uh, Wuha percent. Nope. Definitely definitely in, definitely in uh, Don Tilton to up smash at that percent. Give a trip. Will he get punished? No, both the banana. Oh, get punished for it. Banana. Get some percent for it, but he's using specials. Banana's That's not very coming scary back for Bushi. Right now. Ooh. Oh, that Don would have taken it. That's going to do it. All right, JJ moving on to grand finals against E2C's Dan. 3-2. Mm -hmm. What a close that we just had. Mm -hmm. Despite their uh, significant margin of a set difference, Bushi definitely making it a very hard fight for that game five and, situation. And that was almost.